Honestly, I love a good road trip day anyways. It's not bad. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited. Hey, you had a register? Yes. You have a reservation? Yes. That's a good thing. The lady could go in the office and register right here, and then we'll take it to your site. Okay. I'll go in there. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm... The lady can go in the office. Watch him. Yell, yell at anything weird. What about those cars that are all parked right there? Are we going to have room for them to get in there? Yeah. I'm just... Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. What you got, honey? Sunflowers. Ooh. So many beautiful ones. Those for me? They're for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share them with you. Guys, smell. Oh, yeah. What do you think? They're almost as pretty as you. Would this be the last sunny moment in a week of back to back travel? So this is the week of travel where we have to dash from Lake Placid in the Adirondacks, down to Rochester, New York, over to Tennessee Lakes, a stop in Cincinnati, on to Diamond Caverns, before we head to Morganton Point in North Georgia for our family trip. What a week of travel. Ride on the Jefferson Eagle Road. Once we go down this road, it's the same road closed. Well, this every trip was we told me to turn down the one with the bridge. So now it's telling me to go mile, two and a half miles forward. Road. So every road leading to the campground either is closed or has a low bridge. So we're just going to have to call and find another way. Foreman Road. Okay. Turn right. Turn right on Foreman. Then three more miles. You'll see Mill Creek Road, and then you'll make a left. Left okay. onto Mill Creek? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. I don't even know how that, that doesn't even compare. What are we working with? I mean, it should be a full site. I didn't pass. Let's get this thing parked. I need to disconnect this trailer. Oh my god. Can we do that? Oh shoot. Fit? Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we sewer. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so talk to me about what, what what decision are we making right now? I'm just trying not to unhook the truck. Okay, and so so far we have parked on the picnic table 
Stop. Stop. You got, the, you got the truck level. We're downgrading to 30 amp so that we can gain a half an inch. So our slide. <laughs> we don't really need 50 amps. So. 50 amps for suckers. That's right. So we're pretty much in an attempt to leave the camper hooked up because we're just tired of travel days back to back. I think we've spent probably an extra 30 minutes troubleshooting <laughs> <laughs> how to make that happen. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, we only need a, just a tiny, tiny bit. Let's see. That's after we went in. It's not like as bad. Uh, it's just for one night. Let's go on another hair. Okay. So here's the deal. We actually just recently put in or installed our new um, tire minder, tire pressure, tire pressure management system, CPMS. And um, it gave us an alert that the passenger back tire was quickly, it had a, a rapid leak and low pressure. And so we were on the highway. So we quickly pulled off the side so that we could kind of check it out and assess it. It was from, Let's see, they average about 83 to 86. And that back right one went down to 50 and then just kept dropping. It was actually down to 12 by the time we safely got off the road again. Um, so Eric went out and sure enough, it was flat. So um, we are about a mile from the nearest exit. And so Eric got out the air compressor and we just topped off the air looking at it visually he thinks that it might be um a valve stem leak and so we were able to get enough air in to get it up to about 55 and then we kind of hobbled down the rest of the highway for the rest of the mile until we got to this exit we're parked in cabela's eric walked over to costco because it looks a little bit busier over there we're gonna he's gonna see what the situation looks like if we can pull in there safely um, or if they're even able to help service us. So we're gonna see what happens there. I'm just really thankful that we have this system because having a flat tire is never fun for anybody, but it's also not safe. Um, so I'm glad that we were able to kind of get that notification early enough that we were able to safely, you know, get off of the highway onto the side of the road. It's pretty nerve wracking being on the side of the highway with your whole home attached to your truck um and having people flying by you at like 80 miles an hour um it's definitely not fun at all it's definitely a little bit scary so any sort of peace of mind that you can have in that situation i'll take look like it's lifting yeah sorry you do all this sorry you're amazing I got my torque wrench.